So if you control how much food there is or its availability through things like the weather or using the weather as a strategic tool militarily, um, you can you know, dramatically influence what's going on in the country. And by doing that over and over again, sequentially through a region, um, it's possible that you can change the, uh, the political spectrum over an entire region by doing this over and over again. Um, maybe even you know, do it over a much wider region, create so much instability that you're able to you know, come in and say, oh, we have these wonderful fast-growing crops, you know, genetically modified, and, and you know, this, you'll, ha you'll have something to eat in less than three weeks. You know? um, and I imagine that uh, you know, if you can control the food supply, that you can then consolidate the financial and the political interests of the country. Could predicting the weather enable a group or specific entity to profit from that knowledge of knowing what type of weather or weather pattern will be? Absolutely. That's what all commodities are driven by. They're driven by predicting the weather, how the weather will be in a certain location, and that directly is correlated to the price of that commodity. Absolutely. There's no doubt. assault on the most elemental aspects of nature. What we're doing when we modify the weather is we're changing the world's climate and we're changing the microclimates. And we are doing it. There are things we can say for certain. There's a mountain of metal raining down on us. We're certainly breathing that metal. We have documented from the computer modeling some unintended consequences. If such a contamination is present, shouldn't we investigate? Shouldn't local agencies investigate, which they have patently refused to do? There's no question that large-scale climate engineering is untested and dangerous. I would disagree quite strongly that it is um, doesn't exist. I think that the capacity to do it in engineering terms most certainly exists, and that's part of the reason we have to think seriously about how we manage that. We are breathing a mountain of metal. That can't be denied. If geoengineering continues and the weather manipulation continues and genetic modification continues overtaking, we're going to lose our ability to grow good, nutritious food. We are going to lose our ability to thrive. I personally consider this ongoing toxic dumping into our atmosphere to be, along with nuclear radiation, the most dangerous threats to our health and to our environment. We've seen UV scales go off the charts, which are the known consequence of geoengineering, ozone destruction. We've seen rainfall patterns disrupted in, in ways that meteorologists don't seem to be able to explain or predict. Challenge that all of these weathermen face, all of them, whether they're aware of it or not, sooner or later they will be aware of it. And I went through a period after the, after the epiphany of, how did I not see this sooner? How? I mean, seriously, I'm supposed to do this for a living. How did I not see this? We have seemed to have lost our moral fiber and our ethical compass when we talk about that we all should live within an experiment that somebody else is conducting. If you knew or could predict the weather at any given time in any given area, then you control the fate of mankind and what they pay for everything. The Washington is not responsible to the average person. It's responsible to commercial interests. We can spend millions on campaigns now without restriction who literally drive policy-making in Washington, D.C. I guess I'm under the, uh, the belief that uh, you can't control the weather. Um, and I hope, hope someday we could control the weather. Power becomes an addictive thing. We're taking what the Creator has created, usurping His authority, and bringing it under the authority of corporations. I'm worried that one person or one group would try to have that much leverage over the whole planet. I don't believe that anybody has the right to play God, especially when they're putting particles and chemicals into the atmosphere, which there's unintended and consequences that are not.